budget, budget build. What's up guys, welcome back to Car Studio. And if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. Uh, quick recap, this is my 1987 BMW 325iS, uh, or E30 as it's most commonly called. And it has had an eBay turbo on it for the past few years, uh, taking tons of abuse with no tune, and um, the motor is about to throw a rod, so we are about to tear into that one. We've got a new motor on the stand back there. In today's video, we are going to take apart the old motor and see what its failure was. More than likely a rod, so let's get to it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is get this motor up in the air and remove the clutch and flywheel and I'm gonna try to uh, just stand it up on the back of the block if possible and uh, from there remove the oil pan so we can inspect. All right, I got a six, um, an M6 Allen head to remove the well, first, let's get a battery. They're not going to come off with this. Damn, I put this on really tight. All right, so I have broken every one of my half inch uh, to three eighths adapter, so I can't use my big impact on this. I'm just going to have to use a ratchet, and I don't have any way of securing the flywheel at least not easily, so I'm just going to do this method right here. Alright, got that one loose. Now we can use this, hopefully. Nice. Leave that top one in so it doesn't fall on the floor. This clutch is in surprisingly really good shape. Um, I know the lighting's not good, I'm sorry, but no uh, hot spots on the pressure plate. The clutch has plenty of life left in it. I'm, I'm impressed. This clutch never slipped. Uh, it's nothing, it's a Saks clutch apparently. Um, I did not buy it new, it was in the car when I put it together. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So we're gonna reuse this. Budget budget build. Alright, we've got the motor situated to where we can get to the oil pan and I'm going to start taking off all these 10 millimeters and there's a couple 13 millimeters down here as well. So I got the uh, oil pump removed and uh, the <laughs> first bit of carnage I saw was, let me take us over here into some light, it's pretty bad. So we just lift this uh, screen up right here and holy crap. Look at all of that. So some of this is, this is just um, Permatex. And uh, honestly, learn from my mistake because this is probably what caused all of this. We installed that oil pan with the engine still in the car. And to do that, it is a very, very tight fit. 
uh, you have to remove the rack and pinion and um, I believe we took the motor mounts off and raised it just a little bit and so what you have to do is put the oil pump in the sump of the pan slide the oil pan in place and with a very small gap you have to tighten the three 13 millimeter bolts that hold the uh, oil pump onto the um, block and by doing that you just make a mess of all the permatex so I'm assuming that some permatex got into the oil pump or the pickup or some uh, low oil pressure but that's a lot of copper Jesus okay another thing I noticed when I pulled the oil pan out there is a 13 millimeter bolt or nut I mean in the sump I don't know where that came from <laughs> it's uh, really hard to tell all right I got a ratchet let's uh, remove these rod caps It was cylinder six. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Spun rod bearing. Yep. All right, guys. We got cylinder six piston out of there. Uh, checked all the rod bearings. Uh, I'm walking over here to show you. It's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, it spun cylinder six rod bearing, and that's it. And it didn't do any damage to the crank. Um, even the rod doesn't have any damage. I mean, nothing I can feel with my finger. I don't see any visible scratches. The cylinder. It's perfect, has perfect cross hatching, no scars. Um, so here's what we're looking at. Here's the rod itself. Um, it doesn't look that smooth, but like I said, nothing that my finger catches, it, it feels smooth. So I would say new rod bearings and this would uh, be runnable. All right, now here's the worst part. Here are the rod bearings themselves, what's left of them. And uh, as you can see, the little like keeper that holds them in place is uh, completely gone. This was just spinning freely inside that uh, rod. Same thing with this one. This one, this side's a little bit thicker. Look how thin that is. Crazy. I, I really don't know how this was still running. I knew it was about to throw a rod, but like I said, it's not as bad as I thought. I was expecting more than one cylinder. Um, and here are all the pieces of that rod bearing. All right, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I just wanna make a quick uh, short video on what failed on this 200,000 plus mile eBay turbo, no tune, uh, given tons of hell engine. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually impressed. It's likely that the failure was due to my screw up uh, of having just some sloppy permatex applied that got into the uh, oil pump or the pickup and uh, caused all this. Possible, I don't know for sure. But, um, I mean, if it's had low oil pressure that long and all it did was spin one rod bearing uh, and didn't affect the crank or the cylinder, I'm very impressed. So, uh, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel, follow this build. Next video, uh, First thing we're gonna do is take this oil pan into a parts washer, get it cleaned up, make sure all that metal shavings are out of it. And then we are going to assemble this motor, which is a turnkey long block. However, I'm gonna be pulling the head off and um, installing my head over there because we know that's not the issue of our noise. And it was rebuilt when I first put this engine in the car. Uh, I've got a new Victor Ryan's head gasket factory head bolts, well, Victor Ryan's head bolts. Um, might catch some hell for this gasket right here. It is a .21 or something. Um, I don't know, there's two different sizes you can use 
Uh, this one's slightly bigger to uh, help in all ways possible of raising the compression just a little bit or lowering the compression just a little bit since it's boosted. But um, yeah, this is the same head gasket I ran for the last three years. No issues on that head. So we got a good mating service, good head gasket seal. Uh, this next motor should last just as long. So yeah, uh, new head gasket. I'm gonna replace this head. We have a new Gates timing belt, Gates water pump, and uh, we're gonna throw that oil pan on here, reseal everything, paint it, get it looking good, and um, drop it in this car. So, till next time guys.